This is Wilson Morales talking to Danny Newton about her latest TV series, Code Row, which is going to be appearing on DirecTV. It's your first TV series. Mm -hmm. It's, well, I was in ER. I, I did a guest role in ER. You did a good character arc. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But this is a, a leading series for you. Yes, it is. Why now? Why this particular series? Why? Um, the, it, it came about without me summoning it. You know, I had been opening myself up into the idea of television for a, a few years and hadn't found anything that really appealed, partly because I just felt that the, the writing, adult drama, the writing is stronger in television, you know, in terms of, you know, there's more availability and um, I just, I just like the idea of, of developing a character over a longer period of time. Um, and it was a place where I felt I was going to get a much meatier role that I could be challenged by. And I've been experimenting a little bit more with um, with what I've been doing. I made a I was in a play a year ago, and I'd never done that before. So I suppose in some ways it's just I want to challenge myself more, and so Rogue was an opportunity to do that. Um, and originally it was sent to me in England, and it was going to be a three part series for the BBC. And I loved it, and. Um, I don't even remember why it didn't end up happening. But then a year later, the showrunner, Matthew Parkhill, who wrote this series, um, approached me again and said, you know, we've relocated it to, to Oakland, San Francisco, and it's now gonna be 10 parts instead of three. Would you still play Grace? And for me, Grace is the same no matter where she's from, no matter la what language she speaks. And that's the thing that I was so appealed you know, that appealed to me so much about her is that she is called on to grow and become empowered by her core, which is the same in every single person around the world. We can become extraordinary if we're called on, and you know, in, in, in extraordinary circumstances. So the fact that it was going to be in the States and it was now 10 episodes gave it a more ambitious scope um, and was even more challenging. So I... I saddled up and off I went. I've seen a lot of your films and from Besieged to last year's Good Deeds, you know, you're playing a character that gets in a situation for survival in a way or for closure. How I'm would you describe the situation? You know, so here's the situation. Obviously, you're in a situation doing something for answers, closure, survival. What more can you say about Grace? Well, I think the best drama um, and 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 we see these stories happening over and over again is when a person is um, challenged to become more than they ever thought they could be. Um, and, you know, whether it's Ripley in Alien or whether it's Madame Bovary in Gustave Flaubert's story, you know, it's, we see these stories happening again and again because it inspires us as human beings. Um, and, Grace is a modern woman who is called on to um, explore risks and uncover the truth based on losing her child and it's a very modern representation of that tradition which we have, you know, seen over and over again and I just really loved the way Matthew and the production designer and the DP and everybody gathered together to try and make it something of our time. It's very modern and I love that. Talk to me about, work, about working with this cast from Matthew to Martin. You know, you're the center of it all, you know, and just, you know, you're the one that has to control everybody that's as far as centered around you. So how was it working with the rest of this cast knowing that you're the centerpiece? Oh, I relied on them heavily because I knew that you know, the story would travel away from me sometimes and go to the Laszlo family and, you know, it meant that it just gave me a bit of breathing space. That was on a practical level. But I just love the fact that it also called on me to change according to which characters I was, you know, operating around. Um, and I just had the most extraordinary experience working with these different actors who I just loved. I've admired Ian Hart for many, many years and I got to finally work with him. Um, and uh, the girl who plays my daughter, Sarah, she's such a wonderful young actress and you know, she was pretty new to the game. 
So seeing her over the 10 episodes develop and grow in, in confidence and skill, you know, and that was just beautiful to be around. I felt so privileged. Um, Ian Tracy, fantastic actor from um, Vancouver, who I was, who was just my best buddy on the show. Um, I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, and just seeing all these different personalities and providing different energy. Yeah, there are some characters I didn't, I didn't work with very much, like um, I didn't have a whole lot to do with um, Josh's character, although watching it, I just, you know, it's so exciting seeing the scenes that you didn't take part in. Um, so yeah, we supported one another. We were all, we were all really keen to make this show as good as it could be. It's a competitive field now. Television is really a very powerful commodity. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we wanted to, you know, help be held up as, as worthy of, of competing with, with some very great TV that's out there. Um, so that sort of gave us that extra challenge and desire to do the best that we could do. And I'm super proud of it. And you just mentioned how te television is competitive. Is it comforting doing a 10 part series as opposed to a network show where you're going to end up doing uh, 22 episodes and you got worried about the ratings and whether or not you're going to come back, you know, next year and so forth? You well, know? I mean, I really hope that we get to do another series just True. partly because I want to know what happens, especially mm -hmm. with the daughter. Um, but at the same time, it was such a pleasure and so rewarding doing 10 episodes, getting to eke out the the story and the character development over such a long period of time and that's just honestly isn't for an actor i think we just had the best situation it wasn't 22 which i think would kill me if i had to do 22 episodes of road um but it was long enough that i could really feel satisfied that we covered a huge amount um but i don't feel nervous about it because you know what's the point you know, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? I just, I wanted to make this as good as, as, as I could. I feel hand on heart that I did. And I just think whatever happens, it's going to be out there. And um, people are going to enjoy it, you know. I think you've got to have that attitude when you're working. It's got to be about the actual work itself, not about what it's going to bring. You just have no control over that. And on the strength of that, what's a good reason to see Rogue on Direct TV? The good reason to see Rogue is because you have no idea what you're going to get, and we all like surprises. Okay. Thank you.